Hi, everybody. I'm Stephanie, and this is Derek. <laughs> and we are going to walk you through the quick start guide for Cosmic Peace Force Mission Harmony 3. You find the quick start guide on the back of your mission brief, and your mission brief looks like this. And you just flip it over. And there you have 10 steps for starting the game. This means this. This is for the people who really don't have the patience to go through the entire mission instructions. Um, and they're just, they just are eager to get started and to learn while they go. Number one, every player chooses a player piece and places it on a space horse in a different dimension. Okay. And no players can begin on the same space. So the board is broken into six different dimensions. You can tell because there's the little things that look like planets or circles uh, around the board. There's six of them. This comes from the Meta Center's roadmap. Uh, but if you look at each one, it's like new story, peace, new economy, social justice. Pick one of those that appeals to you. You can read about it on the board itself. And you're going to look for the little creature in the pathway around the board that looks like a seahorse, but better because this sea of consciousness and sea of the cosmos uh, requires a space horse to travel through. If you want to locate what the space horses look like on the board, they'll look like this wonderful creature right here. And for the player pieces, we have these beautiful different colored meeples that we can choose that represent us. So you put your player piece on a space horse on the board and don't uh, start on the same place as another player. That's first simple step to get started. Number two. So what you'll want to do is in the very center of the board, you'll see a person sitting in meditation and around them are a number of numbered lotus petals. You'll want to take the blue gemstone and place that at number 12. Number three, so now you're gonna place the soul force tokens, hearts, ice blocks, and the three card decks in reach of all. So this, these are the, all the pieces in the box. We're gonna make sure that everybody can reach them, all the card decks. And so looking at the different uh, card decks, these are the conflict cards. There's mini games on the back. Again, in the quick start guide, you don't need to know too much about them. You just need to know that they're separate decks. So this one deck, then there's a, some, a deck for the, uh, has a lemon on it. You're gonna learn more about that. We're gonna tell you more later, but for now you don't need to know that. You're just getting set up. And then there is a deck that looks like this with all different uh, dimension images on them and those want to be in the reach of everybody and one more thing that isn't as clear on our quick start guide is that everybody wants to have one of these cards a mission instruction uh, player card so make sure that all the players have one of those uh, and then, oh, and then hearts, ice blocks, those are, those are pretty, it should be pretty obvious. There's um, little wooden hearts, little blue wooden ice blocks. And these guys, which are called soul force tokens, they're in a token shape. And there's, a, as we call them, the bliss man or bliss person is on them. So make, put those in where everybody can reach them. And we have the wisdom card. Make sure everybody has one. If you're interested in these pieces and where they go, please feel free to refer to page three of your mission brief where it lists everything and where they would go on the board. Number four, choose a timekeeper to keep track of time. You, you, you'll need to count down 
from 30 seconds to zero, you can use a phone or a watch or a game timer in the shape of an hourglass that can has 30 seconds of countdown time. All right, number five. Now you're going to distribute the resources. And then it tells you what you need for three players, four players, or five players. Uh, this includes strategy cards and soul force tokens. Strategy cards represent the different dimensions of Meta's roadmap and where the game takes place. And then the soul force tokens. So you'll have some soul force tokens and strategy cards to get started with. Again, you don't need to know what these mean yet. You just need to distribute them. Number six, take the Cosmic Peace Force Pledge as a team. As a cosmic peacekeeper on the cosmic peace force, I commit myself to nonviolent discipline, cooperation, and nonviolent strategy as I ensure the well being of the whole team and work creatively for the uplift of the entire cosmos, turning enemies into friends, learning from my experiences and transforming conflict into opportunities for peace at all times. Number seven, as a group, decide which member of the Cosmic Peace Force will go first. Number eight, do phase one of your turn as listed on the mission instruction card. Oh, here's my mission instruction card. And if I look under phase one, it looks like I have a number of options. Choose one. Gain two soul force tokens or gain two strategy cards or give one strategy card to a teammate or play one strategy card from my hand in, the current, in my current dimension. Number nine, now that I've done phase one, I'm ready to do phase two. I'm going to roll the dice and move that number of spaces. And then I'll land on an icon and I have to do what is asked by the icon where I land. And I can know that by turning the mission instruction card around and it will tell you each of the icons on the board what to do for them. And if I've rolled doubles, on my turn, I can play a full turn again, meaning starting with phase one and then going to phase two. So when we're transitioning to our turn and going from phase one to phase two, there is a caveat. There is danger as we go about the cosmos. The dice have been cursed by the disharmony yuga. If you roll the dice before you do your phase two, you will freeze and you forfeit the rest of your turn. It's really important to maintain our nonviolent discipline. All right, number 10, when a mission succeeds or is defeated, you wanna create a team ceremony to express closure. So you can know how you have had mission success or defeat by page seven in the mission guide, but you have succeeded when four or more portals to Harmony 3 are open. So this means that four heart tokens are on the Harmony 3 portals in four dimensions. And you know when the mission has been defeated when two portals to Harmony 3 are shut by the Disharmony Yuga or any player has zero soul force tokens, or if the lotus petal in the center of the board reaches zero petals. And that's the quick start. The quick start is, is meant to help you get started and you can play the game using it, but we do recommend that when you have a question, we believe that all of the questions have been answered in this booklet. And there is a table of contents on the front of the booklet where if you say, okay, well, what do I do? How do I know what mission success or defeat is? Well, page seven 
oh, what do we mean by the board icons? Let me turn to page 11. What are the mini cards or what are the mini games? What happens on my turn page 12, so forth. Good luck with the quick start. Good luck, everyone.